Student, today I am going to answer another question that how we use the object of the verb in English. This is very important. For example, I enjoy reading books. Here we have reading is the object of the main verb. Enjoy is your main verb and reading is the object of the verb. Sometimes we use I enjoy to read books and sometimes we use I enjoy reading books. This is what we have to learn today. This is very important for the student of NMD CAT, NAMS, CSS, PMS, NUST and USAT. Let's start it. The use of object of the verb in English. When a verb is used in the form of ING with the main verb, then it becomes the object of the verb. For example, here we have, we enjoy playing cricket. Here we have playing, this is the object and the main verb is enjoy. So we enjoy, what we enjoy? Playing cricket. So we can use with the main verb playing cricket. Similarly, I forgot bringing the fee. Now this action, forgetting action, you can't do it yourself. So it happens automatically. So here we have to use the object of the verb bringing the main verb is there but what action you have done you actually have forgotten to bring your fee so i forgot bringing the fee over here similarly the next one she enjoys what she enjoys she enjoys helping her mother she enjoys helping her mother now again you see helping is there so what she enjoys helping so this is again the main object of the verb she enjoys helping her mother next one is there they practice what they practice they practice trimming the plants i love reading the books here again love is the main verb and reading is the object of the verb i love reading the books so in these examples you have Learn about the object of the verb, which are the part and parcel of these verbs. When we perform verb in the future of tense, for example, then we use infinitive. Here we have some examples. We decided, first we decided, and then to go. Going is another verb there that is after this decision. So we decided in past, and to go is the future in past for shopping he planned first he planned to study social sciences and similarly they came to help me so look at these examples the first action is decided the first action is planned the first action is came and then the second action is there to go so uh, infinitive is used after the main verb when the action is preceded by the main verb there is sometimes a difference between I like to do and I like doing it. Let's see the difference. I like doing something means I do it and I enjoy it. I like doing something mean I do it and enjoy it. I like cleaning the kitchen. Here we have cleaning is the object and it is a main part, main object of the main verb. I like cleaning the kitchen. I like to do something. Here we have infinitive. I like to do something. It means I think it is a good thing to do. But I don't necessarily enjoy it. Now look at the sentences. The first one is I like doing. And the second one is I think it is a good thing to do. But I don't necessarily enjoy it. It's not my favorite job, but I like to clean the kitchen as often as possible. In these examples, you can find out the difference between infinitive and the gerund one. When you use the object of the verb, you use the verb with ing form. Okay? Is it clear? Note that enjoy and mind are always followed by ing. For example, I enjoy washing the clothes. 
I don't mind cleaning the kitchen. Here we have cleaning, washing and I don't mind going there. So again, this is very important when you use enjoy. Uh, when you use enjoy, it means the next verb shows your enjoyment. Okay. Would like, would love, would hate, would prefer are usually followed by infinitive. I would like to go away for a few days. Here we have would like and it is followed by to go. To go is your infinitive. I wouldn't like to go on holidays alone. Again wouldn't like to go. Go is your infinitive. The next one is there. This is the contraction, the short form. I would love to meet your family. To meet, to meet is your infinitive. Would you prefer? To have dinner with us in here we have would like, would love, would hate is followed by infinitive. Compare I like and I would like. This is a little bit comparison to learn more. I like playing tennis. So this is what you want. This is what you like. Or I like to play tennis. I like it in journal. When you talk about in journal, you can use I like to play tennis. I would like to play tennis today. Here we are talking about particularly today. I would like to play tennis today. But when you say that I like playing tennis, it is your like, it is your likeness, it is your wish. Okay. I like playing tennis and I would like to play tennis today. I want to play today means when I want to play today it means I would like to play tennis today. You can use infinitive. I like playing it means this is your uh, likeness with respect to your game. I like tennis. I like playing tennis. Okay. We can use the same structure after would love, would hate and would prefer. For example, Poor old David, I would hate to have been in his position. I would love to have gone to the party, but it was impossible. Here we have gone, that is past participle, which is followed by have. Now choose the correct option. Do you like dash up early? Get, getting, gets. Oh God, you have to choose out of these four options, one is crack. Yes, do you like getting up early in the morning? That thing is there.
verb and if you have still any other questions if you want to learn any uh, grammatical concept just put your question and i upload another video for you thank you